If you've experienced at least one Christmas in your life, you've probably heard the word Yuletide. But have you ever wondered where that word came from and how it came to be linked to Christmas? On or around the 21st of December is the longest night of the year, or the winter solstice. And on that day, Wiccans and Pagans are celebrating Yule. In Wicca, the winter solstice is regarded as the depths of darkness for the world. And from it, we know that the darkness will begin to fade and the light will begin to return to the world. This is an important message to remember always, not just at Yule. Even when the darkness feels suffocating, the light will always return. Some pagans would call Yule the sun's birthday, as this is when, in pagan mythology, the sun god is reborn. Remember that at Samhain he was wandering the world of the dead, and now he is back and stronger than ever. Many pagans also believe in twin brothers called the Holly King and the Oak King. Some pagans believe in them literally, while others prefer to regard them as a metaphor. The Holly King reigns over the latter half of the year, the darker half, and the Oak King takes over when the light begins to return. This concept could be exactly why Holly is so closely linked to Christmas time. Paganism is closely connected to the earth, and it's no surprise that at this time we like to bring the outside in, and the tradition of bringing evergreen into the home started with ancient pagans. Mistletoe is regarded as being a healer and a protector, and holly is said to ward off unwanted spirits. Ivy is a symbol of rebirth, immortality and resurrection, as is the yew tree. And pine is used to bring healing and joy into the home, and it's often burned to bring purification as well. For centuries, pagans have used evergreens to make wreaths, and these are either displayed hung up or laid flat with candles which later grew into the Christian Advent wreath. Ancient pagans also started the tradition of a beautifully decorated tree, although their trees were often decorated with food and were said to be a warm home for woodland spirits during the cold time of Yule. Which is actually really sweet and it makes me want to cry. <laughs> Since this Sabbath is all about the return of the light, it should come as no surprise that candles are burning everywhere thanks to pagans. Typically, we use red, green and gold candles, as those are the colours of the season. There are many other pagan traditions that have crept their way into our modern celebrations, including the giving and receiving of gifts, the concept of a Yule log, although the traditional pagan one is less chocolatey and more literal log-y, and many more. I've mentioned in a previous video that historically Christians and pagans got on quite well. So it's no surprise that so many of our traditions overlap so closely. I hope that this video has been informative and has given you a new perspective on why we do so many of the things that we do at this time of year. If you'd like to learn more about some other Wiccan Sabbaths, be sure to subscribe to my channel. Other than that, have a lovely day and blessed be. Ba la 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 pagan. <laughs>